The centre of episode one is the proposal, really, the date. The going on, the two men who've been together for years, going on a date night. And for me, the new thing that you can now write in gay drama, gay drama in inverted commas, but this is a gay drama in inverted commas, which is the proposal, something I couldn't have written 16 years ago. Will you marry me? No. The question, will you marry me, has all sorts of answers and all sorts of repercussions. So that's very much the focus of episode one. It's building up to that date. It's building up to that question and the terrible repercussions of what happens after Henry says no. A very contented relationship is pushed over the edge. And it's pushed over the edge by a, by a number of factors. One is a man, Henry, feeling when he is proposed to by his boyfriend that he's been manoeuvred into this situation, that marriage isn't something he really wanted, and in fact marriage isn't something he even thought about because as a gay man he just thought it wasn't for him. It's not just the fact that he's rejected, it's the way he's rejected. It's the dismissal of his thoughts and feelings without a qualm. What happens is, is that Lance explodes. He goes totally in the other direction and he decides he's going to show Henry just what it feels like being rejected on this level. The threesome is a by the by, it's um, something that's extra. You know, he knows that if he introduces somebody who will have sex with him into the relationship, then that's going to throw Henry into asking some questions. The terrible threesome that happens in this episode was actually the inspiration of the entire thing. This actually happened to a friend of mine, including the police, and I wrote that down about 18 years ago in my head, and here it is as a drama. Sadly, as a result of rejecting his boyfriend, his boyfriend decides to enact a completely understandable but humiliating sort of revenge on him by bringing someone else back to their house. And given that Henry struggles with sexuality anyway, this leads to a, an appalling night in which Henry ends up walking out and going and living somewhere else because the whole house has been sullied and destroyed by this, this voracious sexual and humiliating event. So he comes to the place where the boy of his dreams lives, this terrible, run-down, freezing warehouse, and realises that actually he can't go back because not wanting to marry Lance is only the start of it, and that actually he can't be with Lance anymore.